I'm doing good. How about you? Oh, that's good. I bet it feels relieving to finally get all that homework done. Even though it really is not that much. But getting college life homework done is just... Oh, I know that feeling. I just got homework done as well, actually. So, um... What are you doing uh, today? You have any plans at all? Really? So you're just planning to just like kick back, relax, and just just stay home? Oh, so you have so I'm assuming you have no plans, right? Uh, okay. Um. So I was I was wondering. Okay. Um. Just give me, just give me a second. All right. Would you, um, would you, would you like to hang out today? Like, come over to my place and hang out. I, I don't have a roommate. I'm, I, I really don't. I mean, I, I just can't, I can't imagine being able to live with another person. Plus, I am making enough to be able to afford this apartment and live on my own. But, uh, aside from that, do you, do you want to come over? I mean, we can, um, we can just chill, we can chat, tell each other stories, we can... I actually have some food coming, if, um, if you want to. If you don't want to, that's entirely okay. I understand if you're busy. No? Okay, um, so is that, is that a yes? Are you coming over? Uh, okay, um, all right. Um, so, uh, you know where to find me, you know where to find me. So, I'll, um, I'll see you in a bit. All right, sounds great. Uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, you actually came. It's nice to see you. Oh, wow, you look great. I mean, yeah, it's just a coat and just some pants, but... So what? You still look amazing. Y yeah, come on in, come on in, come on in. Whew. It's fall. C can you believe that? I mean, it, it feels like just yesterday it was New Year's, and now... With a blink of an eye, summer's already gone by and college is already starting up. And fall is just starting already. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the food's already here. Um, uh, I, hope, I hope you like pizza. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if you don't. I, I could cook something up if you... Oh, okay. Sounds great. Yeah, so... Um, I hope you don't mind. Um, I'm going to open a window. Because, well... I just kind of like the fall breeze and the uh, the reminder that eventually winter's going to be around the corner. That's one of my favorite seasons for some reason. I I don't know. I guess just the idea of being able to be inside your cozy little home while it's snowing cold outside it just sounds it just sounds relaxing to me. Kind of the same way with thunderstorms. Even though it's thundering outside, you're safe inside. College life is something else, you know? You a freshman, too? You know, I'm studying to become an actor. I, um, yeah. Kind of want to make it big. Well, try to, at least. Go to, um, go to movie productions. Be able to act in films. Be on the next film. But at the same time, I want to be able to live in a place that is... Away from paparazzi, you know? You know them. Ugh. The leech of Hollywood. What are you studying for? Really? Oh. I'm amazed. Here, let me go let me go get some plates.
remember, I remember um, when I first came here and saw my new apartment, I was, I was shocked that this is where I was going to be living for the next few years of my life. I bet that felt the same way when you entered your first dorm. Like the moment you step in to that room, you're reminded that this is, this is life now. This is home for the next how long you plan to stay here. I mean, when I, when I closed that door and I held that key in my hand, it felt, it felt crazy because that was like my first adult thing that I had officially done. Aside from getting my first car, but I officially had moved out of my parents' house and I was living on my own. Did you feel that when you first entered your dorm room? You did too? Yeah, that feeling is crazy, isn't it? It's like, you don't have to live with your parents anymore. You are now a independent person who is living on their own. It feels so great, but at the same time a little sad. Because you're leaving behind the life that you were raised in. But of course you have to because you can't live there forever. You gotta be prepared to go out in the real world and you gotta go and do the right things and, you know, go and work hard and live on your own. It's, it, it feels great when you finally are able to step into a place that you now are living in and you are the owner of. Well, I'm not technically the owner, I'm just a person renting it and just living in there. Or here, you know. But... It, it feels great. It feels great to finally be, like, a college student living in, you know, in a place that you are going to be starting your next steps in your career. Also, am I the only one who walked around campus with music in my ears and monologued about everyone? Because when I was a kid, I played this game called Life is Strange, and I had wanted to do that for so long and I got the exact song that was used in the game and I started just walking around campus monologuing about everyone and just it, it, it felt it felt like I was an actual anime main character you know an anime protagonist just the downside is that I don't have powers to reverse time I mean that would be cool because like that way whenever I have like an embarrassing moment I could just reverse time and just It'll never have happened. But, you know, we gotta make do with what we have. It's what life has to offer. You just gotta take it. Hey, I, I was curious. Do you... Do you girls sometimes sneak boys into the dorms? I, I, know, I know that's a weird question, but... I, I've, I've read up all the stories and I've listened to stories about how some girls would usually sneak their boyfriends into the dorms. And I want to know, is that real? Does that actually happen? Sometimes? Huh. Tell me. What was one story? Wait, hold on. I think... I have a story of my own about that. But I want to hear your story first. Okay. It was another student that was just across from your dorm. Katie. Okay. She would sneak her boyfriend in three times a week? Bro, what? The one time she forgot to close her dorm room? You saw them... Oh my gosh. Okay, that is all I need to hear. Oh, you saw them. Okay. <laughs> Did she get caught? Okay, good. Good, good, good. Here, let me tell you a story. So, my friend Nathan had this dorm roommate that had a girlfriend. And he would sometimes sneak her into his dorm room 
And it was annoying for him because he was actually trying to get some homework done and he couldn't focus because his roommate was too busy making out with his girlfriend. And you know what's crazy? They had the audacity to then say that he should leave and go run some errands while they do their business. Like, it, it made no sense. Like, because why, why the heck would you tell your roommate, the one that you are sharing a dorm room with, to go out while you have your girlfriend, whom should not be in there, be the one, like, going nuts with you? Why are you acting so entitled like that? So right then and there, Nathan knew that, like, he's probably going to need to get out because, or at least, like, talk with his roommate and say, like, hey, you got to cut this out. We can't do this. But then, here's where it gets a little juicy. He came home early, and he caught him with another woman. It was not his girlfriend. It was another girl. His roommate told him, don't tell her. Don't tell his girlfriend. And he's like, okay, fine, fine. It's not my business anyways. Your side of that dorm room is clearly yours. So I'm just going to let her find out. And you know what he started doing as well? He started secretly packing his stuff up to request a new dorm so that way he could move into a different dorm. And... <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, you're already laughing. <laughs> okay, listen. It gets better. It gets better. You're not going to believe the way she found out. So usually you'd think, like, she sneaks into the dorm room and she finds him there. No, 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 no. See, she can't easily sneak in without his help. The way she found out, it was it was mind-boggling. So his roommate would sometimes get beer. And him and his girlfriend liked this certain type of product of beer. Here's the kicker. She found out he was cheating on him from a different brand of beer. They would always drink a cheap but tasty brand of beer. I mean, I've had that brand. It's it's okay, but I'm not really much of the person that usually drinks a lot. I mean, usually whenever I'm just hanging out with my friends, I crack open one, but that's it. But they would always have that kind of brand whenever they were having their wild nights and stuff. But you see... There was another brand that his girlfriend expressed she hated with a passion. The girl he was cheating on his girlfriend with loved that brand, and he made the dumb decision to buy that brand and keep it in his fridge. Well, fast forward to him constantly cheating on her. They would share that beer with them. Eventually, his girlfriend's over. She goes to the fridge to grab a beer, and she finds that brand. She confronts him and is like, hey, what is this doing here? I, do you suddenly like that brand, or is it because what, what, what gives? So he tries to explain to her that he was trying out different brands. But she quoted on him and said, I would never try that brand if you hate it. She used his own words against him. And then she put two and two together, and Nathan was already halfway out the door. The last thing he heard before he closed that door with his boxes with him was, are you cheating on me? And he closed the door and he just walked out. He doesn't know what happened to his roommate after that, but he intentionally made sure to just stay as far away from them because he did not want to get involved. He did not want to get caught in the crossfire. And I am so glad he got out of there. Oh my gosh. You know, he's he's really chill. You should totally come and meet him sometime. He's one of my good friends. But that story, I just could not stop thinking about. How a brand of beer helped her find out that her boyfriend was cheating on her. Craziest, craziest plot twist that I had ever heard from a story from college, and I only know it's just going to get more and more crazy as we continue to live in college. 
It's kind of also one of the reasons why I try to stay away from rowdy parties, ones with a lot of beer and stuff. I mean, my friends always tell me that I should try it out, but, you know, it's just it just seems like the perfect recipe for disaster. And, like, the moment you fall asleep first, you will be humiliated to the max. Oh, my gosh. And plus, well, there's a lot of a lot of crazy dumb stuff that they do there. But I mean, there's some parties that are just fun and they have rules. They make sure to like say make sure everyone's safe and stuff. But I guess I'm just I guess I'm just really picky or nervous about the parties that I want to go to. You know, it's really fun hanging out with you. You are so cool to hang out with. Why haven't we been doing that more often? You know, I think you and I should hang out some more. What do you say, uh, are you free tomorrow? Okay. I was thinking we could maybe take a trip up to the mall. And maybe walk around the park. Figured it's right to at least embrace the fall season starting. Leaves are starting to slowly fall off the trees. Awesome. Sounds like a plan. Um. Huh? Is there a reason why I invited you? Yeah. Um, it was essentially that. Uh, I just, I really wanted to hang out with you. I, um, just, you know, figured it was right to at least spend some time with you. Uh. You think it's something else? I, I, I'm not blushing. I'm not blushing. Am I? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not blushing. I'm not blushing. Uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. I will calm down. Just, okay, I, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Okay, just, just, just give me a second. Okay, the reason why I invited you over is not just because I want to hang out with you. I want to, but there's uh, there's another reason why. Um. Okay, I, I want to say this in the nicest way possible, but not try to embarrass you, okay? <clears throat> I know you have a crush on me. I know you like me. I've heard I've heard the stories, I've heard the things that people have said. I know you like me. I've seen you even looking at me while I was in class. You're about a few seats behind me. And usually whenever I'm on my phone, out of the corner of my eye, I could see you in the reflection of the phone looking at me. And I, uh, I invited you over because I wanted to see if you were a pretty cool chick to hang out with. I also learned a little things about you. I, um, I got the right scent that you like. Yeah, I literally went to the mall. I got a, um, I got some, uh, I got some candles, actually. Yep, see that up there? I got the right kind of candles that you like. The scent, you can smell it. I also, I also, um, had opened the window because I know you like having the breeze in. So, I wanted to see just what kind of a girl you really are, and, well, all I've been seeing are green flags. So, I will offer you this opportunity. Do you want to kiss me? It's your choice. I won't object. I won't back away. And I won't pressure you. You can say yes or no. I 
little, a little straightforward, huh? Wow. You're uh, you're right to the point. No questions asked. I like that. Uh huh. <laughs> Your lips are really sweet. Come here. Oh my gosh, your face is all red. You're Oh, it's like a light just lit up in your in your eyes. Oh my gosh. You look so cute and very beautiful too. Hey, hey. Come here. I like you too. So, um what do you say? We enjoy this day together, hang out for a bit more, maybe play some video games or watch some TV, and uh, enjoy the rest of our pizza, and have a great time. But on one condition, you gotta pay me in kisses. And I get to call you honey. <laughs> All right, honey. So I guess we're dating now. This is nice. Let's uh let's hope that uh let's hope this works. Cuz honestly, if you and I can do this, I think we can accomplish many things together. I think we can do this. I'm prepared, and I know you are too. Let's make this day a great one, shall we? I love you, honey. <laughs>